welcome back. So today I am going to be filming a favourites video for you guys. Now I know today's video was supposed to be the reveal video but something came up and I'm actually trying to add something super special to the project so um, I don't know I just wanted to add something extra to it. I can't really say much but um, I just want it all to be extra perfect like I just want it to be um, all okay when it comes out and I wanted to add a few things and that's why I have to delay it off for a few days and the reveal video will now be on Saturday now I'm so so sorry you guys I know, I know you have been waiting to um, hear the winner of the giveaway today but I'm actually going to post another hint photo on Friday on my Instagram and also on my snapchat so you guys can keep guessing keep entering the more you enter the higher the chance you can win so there's that as well if you haven't entered you can go enter as well all the information will be in the info box if you guys want to check it out it's all on my instagram as well so i really hope you guys don't mind but it's just that i want it to be perfect and i wanted to add this extra thing as well so you guys will see in the reveal video what i'm talking about but yeah you guys know me i just want everything to be really really good for you guys so um, yeah, so that's the situation at the moment and I'm really really sorry about it I know you have been really waiting for the reveal video, but it's coming just in two days So you literally have to wait two days till Saturday and the video will be up and you'll know who the winner is I haven't picked a winner yet, so you can still enter and thank you so much to all of you guys who entered already Like it literally means the world to me reading all your comments and guesses and seeing how supportive you are um, it just makes me so happy and Seriously guys, I just can't say thank you enough. Yeah, today I thought I'd film a favourites video for you guys. Actually, my current favourites because I don't really like to do monthly favourites. I just like to do videos on what I've been liking lately. Um, and I've got a few bits here to show you guys. And yeah, without any further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into this video. I do have a few like kind of like skincare bits. And the first one is the Wonder Brow Wonder 2 Wonder Kiss. Um, the company is actually called Wonder 2, but they're the ones that make Wonder Brow which is a really good eyebrow product by the way but um, they sent me a few products and I have the Wonder Kiss right here it basically came in a kit and you have like the plumping bit that you can inject and it had levels so you had three levels to inject in this thing in this gloss and basically the plumping thing really like plumps up your lips so I put all of it in there like the three levels but if you if you didn't want that much you can also put like a level or two um, but I put all of it in there and seriously I've been wearing this every day, sometimes before I go to bed, like seriously, it's the best like pump, plumping lip gloss I've tra ever tried. It's not sticky, it's super creamy, it smells really nice, it smells like something like honey and sweets or something, but it's, it's so good, like it definitely like defines like my cupid's bow area and it removes a little bit of the wrinkles because we all have those kind of like wrinkles in our lips and it kind of plumps it up enough to kind of make it look a bit smoother and when you put lipstick on it it's like the best thing ever so yeah i've literally been loving this so so much i will link all the products in the info box by the way um but i definitely recommend this it's kind of like putting an oil on your lips and it does sting a little bit but not too much and you can definitely see like a result afterwards and i've been wearing it for a few days and my lips just look much more defined for some reason um but yeah i really really like this okay i really really needed to include this one in this video because i've been loving it so much and it's the Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Fix Radiance Shot. So this comes in with like a pipette kind of thing. And it has this nice glow to it as well. And what I do is I, you only need to put this at night time. And if you are going to use this, you will definitely need SPF every single day. Because I don't know why it does something to your skin. You definitely need to protect your skin afterwards. So I always make sure I have SPF in my cream. And um, it says add two drops to your night moisturizer or serum to gently refine skin texture and boost radiance. Um, but can also be applied direct to skin as tar targeted concentrate. So I just put a few drops in my hand and just press it into my skin straight after cleansing. And then I go in with my moisturizer. And you guys know that I get like milia and like, like tiny little bumps, bumps under my skin. And what this does, it kind of like smooths my skin out. It kind of retexturizes it, if that's even a word. Definitely seen an improvement in my skin. I think I've been using this for two weeks now and I've been wearing it mostly every day. And I definitely see like, especially my forehead and around these areas here, that it's a bit much more smoother. And it just really smooths out my skin. So if you have like lots of bumps on your skin and you've got like a lot of texture to your skin, definitely try this out. 
got it at Superdrug for like £10 when it's normally like 20 or something. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this. Like, uh, you, you need to try this, especially if you have like textured skin. So that brings me on to the next product that I actually recently got, I think a few days ago, but I've been wearing it every single day. And it's the Garnier Moisture Balm. I think I heard this from, I think it was Skin, skin Face Beauty who recommended this. I swear down, like anything she recommends, I'm like straight away going to buy it. But yeah, she said that this was really good and I uh, went and bought it. It's not even that pricey as well. The thing that I love about it is that it's got SPF 10 in there and it's just super moisturising and it's really light and I just really really like the fact that it has SPF in it. It's just so important to me and um, it's not like sticky or anything, your skin definitely feels hydrated. I feel like with a pump it's so convenient as well. And the fact that it's so affordable as well. I don't want to use up all my high-end skincare all the time, like it's kind of expensive to keep buying it. So. I also wanted to try some drugstore skincare products, not only for myself but also to share with you guys because I know not all of you are looking for high-end skincare. So I thought this was a good addition to like my skincare range because seriously I really really like this. Okay now on to the next product, this is makeup and it's the Kiko foundation. I've used this quite a lot. Uh, sometimes I like to use it by itself or sometimes I mix it in with my other foundations. I just really love like the coverage of this and the like the hydration of it. Um, it is more on the lightest, lighter side of my skin tone but I can definitely wear it on its own. I don't have a review on this for you guys yet but I will. I don't know what is going on with my hair. I was saying I don't have a review on this um, on my channel yet but I will film it as soon as possible for you guys because I definitely want to get that up for you. I'm in the shade Warm Beige, it's quite light. I just really really like it and I've been using it a lot and yeah I just definitely recommend this especially if you've got dry skin. It does have a few downs but I will mention that in the review video for this foundation and I also do a demo for you guys as well. The next thing is the MAC Studio Conceal and Correct. Duo, I got the one in pure orange and ochre, and I used the ochre shade, which is like a mustardy yellow, and I just colour correct my mouth area with this, and I just really, really love it. Like, it's not too dark, it's not too orange, like, I just really like it. I feel like it definitely kind of removes that ashiness and that darkness away from my mouth area. I just definitely feel like it really improves, like, the way my makeup looks around here. And I do sometimes actually use the yellow as well, the orange. I just really love this, like, I definitely recommend this. And the consistency of it is really good as well. Yeah, I just really like this. I don't know if I've mentioned this in a video before, but I thought I'll just add it in here. And this product is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Eyeliner in black. Seriously, this is like my go-to liner every single day. Like, I tight line with this, I do my waterline, and I just love it. Doesn't, like, end up all over here making me look like I have panda eyes because it's waterproof and it just stays put. So that's why I really like it, it's because it has that waterproof side and it helps, you know, to kind of, it just stays put, like it doesn't leak or anything and I love that it's a twisty up so I don't have to bother sharpening it. That's why I really like it, it's just so convenient and I've just literally been reaching for this every single day. Next up is an eyeshadow. This eyeshadow I've been using so much as you can tell and it's the Colourpop Shadow in a Maze. Look how pretty that is, seriously. Let me do a swatch for you guys. It does have like a moussey texture. And it's just, look at that, oh my god. That's so pigmented, seriously. I wear like glitter on a daily so I just love that it has that glitter side to it and I just... You know sometimes when I just can't be bothered to do my makeup, I just literally just tap this on my lid and I'm good to go. It's just really, really nice. And it was like, what, $5? I know if you live in the UK, it's a bit of a hassle to get Colourpop shadows. But this one, I did get I did get this in my order and it's so good. So if you do order from Colourpop, definitely get a maze because it's one of my favourite shadows from them. So next up is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I... Guys, I've literally been using this so much. I definitely think it's right up there with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, if not better. I feel like it definitely has that more coverage. The coverage is like insane, like seriously. I love that you get so much product in here. It's okay in price. I think it's like 20 pounds or something. And you can definitely get it from QVC as well if you live in the UK. I just love this so much. Like you guys have been sending me pictures on Snapchat with your uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer saying that you love it so much and stuff. 
And seriously guys, it's such a good concealer. I'm in the shade Tan Sand by the way. And then the last and final thing that I have for you guys is a highlighter. And I've been using this in some of my tutorials, but I wanted to mention it in a favorites video because I just love it so much. And it's the Bobbi Brown Highlighter in Bronze Glow. Can we just take a second to just stare at that? I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. The thing I love about this is that it's not glittery, it's more of like a wet, it looks like a sheen on your on your skin. It's just so pretty, like, if you guys, I don't even see these highlighters that much on social media and they are so underrated. This is the highlighter to go for and they do have another one in pink glow which is good for like paler skin tones. This is like the goldy one that are good for, this one's really good for like darker complexions if you're like medium tan or deep skin tone. It's so, so so beautiful like i just love this highlighter so much and it's one of the it's one of the highlighters that i've been reaching for a lot lately i love it so much <laughs> anyways that's the end of this favorites video i really hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know what you've been loving lately because i like to try out new products i like to see what you've been loving lately as well and again i do apologize about the delay on the reveal but it's coming in a couple of days so i hope you guys will understand and if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel and i will see you in my next video on saturday which where i will show you what i've come out with oh my god i'm so excited um, don't forget to follow me on social media where I'll be giving another hint on Friday and where you can see all the giveaway information as well. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!